streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. Today is Arbor Day, and to mark the occasion, the City of La Crosse Parks, Recreation, and Forestry Department held its 35th annual Arbor Day celebration. First Lutheran Elementary School students helped the city arborists plant a burr oak tree in honor of the holiday, and city officials spoke on the importance of preserving nature in an urban world. City arborist John Mangus says different trees will thrive in different parts of the city. There are right trees for right locations, especially in an urban environment. So we try to stress planting trees that aren't going to be obstructed by man-made structures. Obviously, we got a little bit easier time in the parks here. Mangus says burr oaks are native to the region and take a long time to grow. He also says every day is a good day to plant a tree, so don't be afraid to plant your own in honor of Arbor Day. If you'd like to see the burr oak that was planted today, you can find it at Myrick Park. A new all ages and abilities bike playground is coming to West Salem. Today, ORA Trails hosted a launch party at Lewis Point Park to celebrate the project entering its final fundraising phase before construction starts this summer. The sustainable design concept includes features like flow tracks, entry level areas, and a stroll and roll path connecting parking to the trail so bikers can hop on and off as they please. At today's event, attendees got a preview of the plans and tried out ramps and rollers. If you want to make a donation, to help make the bike playground come to life. We'll have a link for you on our digital platforms. Well, a good Friday afternoon to you. It's a gray one and we've had some light rain showers so far. A live look through CityCam will show cloudy conditions, some very light rain falling in the La Crosse area. That's going to be the trend this afternoon. Breezy with scattered showers at times. Not going to rain all the time though. And in fact, much of tomorrow is looking dry. Just a slight chance of storms later in the day into tomorrow evening, especially south and east. And then Sunday is looking a little bit like a washout with periods of rain and thunderstorms likely. Now those rain showers, if you're watching me this morning, I mentioned that they would be weakening as they moved into our area and that's indeed what has happened. Just some light rain showers scattered about uh, kind of right along the Mississippi River on either side, a uh, couple counties wide there, and these will continue to lift to the north and east. There is more where that came from, some scattered showers and storms uh, north and east of Des Moines, some more north and west of Omaha. So we will continue to see kind of these periods of showers and isolated thunder through the rest of the day. Current temperatures in the 50s for most, so it will be cooler today because of the cloud cover and the rain chances, highs generally in the upper 50s, right around 58 in the cross with those gusty southeast winds. Uh, we'll talk more details about uh, that all-important weekend forecast that's coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, we'll see you then. Authorities are cracking down on some campus protests against the war in Gaza. Police used chemical irritants on demonstrators at Emory University in Atlanta. They say dozens were arrested there. And the University of Southern California announcing it's canceling its main commencement ceremony over what it calls safety concerns. Jason Allen reports. Overnight, Ohio State University joined the growing list of colleges demonstrating against Israel's war in Gaza. Earlier Thursday, a similar scene at Emory University. Social media video showed officers tearing down tents and appearing to use a taser on someone pinned to the ground. It came a day after more than 50 people were arrested at the University of Texas at Austin. Both police and protesters have at times crossed a line, says Greg Lukianoff, the president of the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. You don't have a generalized First Amendment right to, you know, turn the public area of a campus into a, um, a camping ground. Um, but definitely we've seen at places like Emory and places like UT Austin, um, police uh, taking things w much, much too far. Most detained demonstrators have not been charged with violent offenses, but there have been several instances of threatening and abusive behavior. Our Nancy Chen spoke to one Jewish student at Columbia University who grew up in Israel. Many of us knew people or the music festival or that live nearby. I'm sorry, I'm getting very emotional about that. Um, I can see you're getting emotional. And adding to that, the situation where people scream hateful speech who have harassed and attacked both verbally and physically people is just making it impossible to be here. Lukianov says the lack of constructive dialogue between both sides on college campuses points to broader failures in American academia. Campuses should be 
a sort of citadels to self-reflection and asking yourselves, do I really understand this? Would I benefit from talking to someone that I disagree with? And I think that universities, particularly elite universities, have gotten really bad at doing this. I talked to a lot of students who came out yesterday, in some cases, just to see what might happen, maybe anticipating more chaos. What they saw instead was an event this time where both sides were able to have a voice. It did get a little emotional at times, but this time it never got out of control. Jason Allen, CBS News in Austin, Texas. Former President Donald Trump called his criminal trial rigged as he headed into a New York courtroom today, but still seemed pleased with the testimony so far. Trump's lawyers continuing their cross-examination of former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker. During his days-long testimony, Pecker explained how he and Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen worked together to catch and kill negative stories about Trump in an effort to prevent alleged affairs from becoming scandals during his 2016 presidential campaign. DA's case is really rises and falls with David Pecker's testimony because he is the linchpin behind their theory of this sort of conspiratorial scheme to influence the election. Trump's facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee has repeatedly expressed frustration that the trial is keeping him off the campaign trail. Today, he expressed frustration that it's keeping him from celebrating his wife Melania's birthday. Mother's Day is now less than two weeks away. How much do you plan to spend on your mom this year? Coming up, we'll tell you just how much the average person says they'll spend and on what. Shop for a cause at Home Sleep Express. Donate $10 to help ovarian cancer research, and Home will give you 10% off any Luxuria or Thomas Cole Sleep mattress. Plus, get interest-free financing. Give $10, get 10% off sale prices, only at Home Sleep Express. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. After an accident, you have an important opportunity to go after all the money you may be entitled to. When it comes to motorcycle representation for accidents, only one firm comes to mind, Hupi and Abraham. They're very well known for handling motorcycle cases. We knew that we could trust them. They got me way more than I thought I would get. Bikers choose Hupi and Abraham because of the reputation of getting the best results of any other law firm. Call Hupi and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Hey, it's Reed and Chelsea Magnum. When I eat cereal, I think of, hmm, this box is halfway gone. Next time I should get one. And then I just know to write it on the list when I make the list. But you don't even, you pour the box of cereal, don't even pay attention even how much is in there or when you'll need another one. You don't think of that. You have helped me realize like the male brain, like mouthwash. Oh. I'll pour the last drop out and I'm like, I think I'm out of mouthwash. <laughs> like, do we have any more? And you're like, <laughs> I don't you're know. you're picking it up yeah. and you feel, wow. People of another age, yep. Howdy doody time, the Ed Sullivan Show, the Mickey Mouse Club. You remember, getting in and out of that tub just isn't quite as easy as it once was. We make life easier for older folks like me. New walk-in shower, a personal shower, a seat if you like. Seriously, be safe. Call the board store. Let us make your bathroom safe and beautiful. Contact the board store today. Shop for a cause at Home Seasonal Concepts. Home will give you 10% off sale prices on porch and patio when you donate $10 to help ovarian cancer research. Give $10 and get 10% off sale prices now at Home Seasonal Concepts. Southwest Airlines says it's pausing service to airports in four cities, Houston, Texas, Bellingham, Washington, Syracuse, New York, and Cozumel, Mexico. The company says it's due to delays in Boeing aircraft deliveries. Southwest is set to receive just 20 of the 46 Boeing 737 MAX 8 planes it ordered this year.
And Chipotle now says workers in the U.S. and Canada can order chicken with their meals again. The fast casual dining chain temporarily asked employees both corporate and restaurant to choose another protein in order to preserve the chicken supply for customers. That directive came after Chipotle brought back its chicken al pastor in March, which executives say led to an increase in customers. Mother's Day is nearly two weeks away. The big question is how much are you planning to spend this year? According to the National Retail Federation, consumers are expected to spend a near record $33.5 billion this Mother's Day. That's the largest spending amount, and it'll go toward things like jewelry, special outings, electronics, and flowers. The average sum a person is expected to spend will be a little over $250. The biggest spenders are expected to be between 35 and 44 years old. It is never too early to get into the spooky spirit, right? Spirit Halloween is marking halfway to Halloween with a contest for one lucky winner and friends to spend the night in the Lizzie Borden house in Massachusetts. The private stay at the home of the notorious axe murder suspect includes a ghost tour and free breakfast. Fans have until April 28th to enter by commenting on Spirit Halloween's Instagram post. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. I remember coming home from school and pounding on the door, but my mother wouldn't answer. She'd be passed out inside. You know, my mother had a drug abuse problem. She struggled with addiction to prescription pills her whole life. But today with fentanyl, one pill, just one pill can kill. So I've worked with Republicans to stop the flow of fentanyl that's poisoning families across Wisconsin. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. This fight hits close to home. When things go sideways, will you be prepared? I want to introduce you to the Patriot Power Generator 2000X. Use the endless free power of the sun to power lights, your TV, medical equipment, even run your fridge. And that's without gas, fumes, or noise. Go to 4 You'll get a solar panel included free. Double the capacity, expandable for more power and more outlets than ever. This is about peace of mind. Get your solar generator and free panel at 4 it's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Hi, everyone! You ready for more of that good news? Yeah. It's a brand new day. I've got the champ on one side and the legend on the other. This is your family. You're not anywhere else other than right here, and I feel that. I suggest starting your day off with a dance party. Of course you're dancing. Turn you time into true time. We make this show for you. Wherever you are, just take it with you. Weekdays at 3 on News 8. A study of bivalent COVID vaccines found they are effective at controlling the spread of the virus. That study in Brazil found the bivalent vaccine, which targets multiple strains of COVID, boosted the immune response and was more effective than monovalent vaccines, which only target one strain. AI is already being used in almost every aspect of healthcare, but some medical professionals are not on board. A study by Florida Atlantic University found more than half of nurses had reservations about AI use in healthcare. Some of their concerns include AI's lack of empathy, its potential to take jobs and data security. And the CDC issuing new warnings about HIV risks associated with a cosmetic procedure called the vampire facial. That procedure involves drawing a patient's blood and injecting the platelets into the face. Proponents say it beautifies the skin and can reduce wrinkles and acne scars. Experts say the procedure itself is low risk, but you can keep yourself safe by making sure the establishment is licensed and that needles and other single use supplies are being taken directly from their original packaging. And loneliness can affect a cancer patient's chances of survival. A report by the American Cancer Society found cancer patients who felt lonely had higher rates of death compared with those who didn't. The results show that having social and emotional support can make a big difference in your health.
Those were some of today's top health headlines. Here is a live look outside now from City Cam 8. Looking a bit gloomy again. Bill is up next to tell us more about our weekend forecast. News 8 Now and these proud sponsors honored the top graduating seniors from La Crosse area schools at the Honor Student Banquet. These students are outstanding examples of academic excellence and we're proud of them and their schools. Congratulations to these and all graduating seniors. My feet hurt so bad in the morning, I couldn't even put my feet on the floor. So I had to start engineering my own art support. So I got that, then I put this in there. This one, finally, before I added another one of these in, I went to Good Feet, and they gave me this. So I built all this together to engineer a solution to my pain. And if I'd have just gone to Good Feet, I'd have been better off in the first place. Good Feet Art Supports, engineered for pain relief, personally fitted for you. Hey, Dominic here, and I want to show you just how easy it is to make tacos and taco dip using Taco Pleasing. For the tacos, just brown one pound of ground meat with four teaspoons of taco pleasing. Add a half a cup of water, simmer 15 minutes, spoon into a taco shell and add your favorite garnish. For taco dip, blend cream cheese and a half cup of milk until smooth, then add one tablespoon of taco pleasing. Be sure to get your taco pleasing and 37 other blends at the Pleasing Outlet store on Ward Avenue, La Crosse. Mmm, tacos. Sealand's Carpet Land, your family comes first. We're more than just a flooring store. We're your partners in creating a home that lasts a lifetime. Discover a world of comfort and durability with our huge selection. Whether it's cozy carpeting for your living room, timeless hardware for a classic touch, or versatile tiles that stand up to the hustle and bustle of family life. Sealand's Carpet Land in Coombe Valley. Our number one priority is you. Stop in today. News 8 Now and these proud sponsors honored the top graduating seniors from La Crosse area schools at the Honor Student Banquet. These students are outstanding examples of academic excellence and we're proud of them and their schools. Congratulations to these and all graduating seniors. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Welcome back, everyone. It's a busy Friday forecast, lots of information to share, so let's dive right in. We'll start with the allergy report. Uh, low symptoms across the board today, thanks to the clouds, the cooler temperatures, and the rain showers. Uh, higher symptoms tomorrow, and that's the trend. Uh, tree pollen levels tend to be highest from mid-April to mid-May, but those rain showers will provide some relief from time to time when we see them. It kind of knocks the pollen out of the air. Drought monitor released yesterday includes data through Tuesday morning each week, and notice how a lot of the drought being chewed away to the north. Uh, no drought conditions now from Mankato up through the Twin Cities, Eau Claire, Wausau over towards Green Bay, and even the abnormally dry conditions being chewed away, and the moderate and severe drought conditions down to the south shrinking as well. Same with the extreme drought conditions over northeastern Iowa. So some good news there, and we're going to add more rainfall uh, to the region over the next several days. Now today, mowing forecast, uh, yeah, you'll want to check that radar. We've got some light rain showers scattered about 50s for highs. Tomorrow, the bulk of the day will be dry, so some good news there, and warmer as well. Seven both today and tomorrow on the breezy, even windy side. And then Sunday kind of looks like a washout, so I'd avoid uh, planning outdoor plans for Sunday, especially yard work with highs in the 60s. Now, just some light rain falling in downtown La Crosse right now. 55 the high so far today, 47 the low this morning. Averages are 64 and 43, 86 and 27 are the records. And not much rain has fallen as of yet. And it looks like the heaviest rain with this uh, uh, trend will be on Sunday, Saturday night and into Sunday. Some light rain falling right now, 54 degrees at the airport, 55 downtown. Gusty southeast winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour, and the Mississippi falling just under 7 feet. Eau Claire, you're still dry, 54 degrees with a cloudy sky, breezy there as well though. East southeasterly winds, 22 gusting to 31 miles per hour. So temperatures uh, generally in the 50s across the region right now, and they'll probably stay in the 50s through the afternoon, maybe some spots to the east flirting with 60 degrees, but uh, the winds are a story. They're out of the southeast sustained 15 to 25 gusting over 30 miles per hour in some spots. And look at our wind prone areas to the west here, 40 to uh, perhaps even 50 mile per hour uh, wind gusts around some rain showers. And you can see those rain showers. If you're watching me this morning, I said they'd be weakening and that they 
have just some light rain showers kind of right along the uh, Mississippi River on either side and then some uh, clusters of showers and thunderstorms down to the south and west as that low over Nebraska will spin northeast towards the Twin Cities over the next 24 hours. So keep that rain gear handy. It's not going to rain all the time, but periods of light showers uh, this afternoon, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Tonight, periods of showers and thunderstorms scattered about, and then tomorrow, the bulk of the day dry. We're going to have to watch this area down to the south and east, though, where it's uh, clearing. It's going to be quite warm there, and a boundary could cause some storms to develop. Right now, SkyTracker has them pretty far south, but some forecast models bring them as far north as uh, far southeastern parts of our viewing area. And then more rain and some thunderstorms move in uh, Saturday night and especially on the day Okay. Sunday. Now, the Storm Prediction Center, if those storms do develop, have a level two risk down here, but I think uh, it's mainly going to be from the Wisconsin River and Point south and east late tomorrow into tomorrow evening with winds and hail, the primary threats. Rain tracker showing not a lot of rain today, but as I run this through Monday morning, again, many spots could see one to two inches plus. And uh, again, the bulk of that looks to be falling on Sunday. So for today, breezy and cooler, scattered light showers, 58, some isolated rumbles of thunder. Mild tonight, showers and storms likely 54. And then mostly dry tomorrow, 76, so quite warm. And then rain likely on Sunday, 66, lingering into Monday morning. And then some slight chances for rain next Tuesday and Thursday. High temperatures next week generally in the 60s and 70s. So Alexandra, at least it looks like we're going to get the bulk of our Saturday in dry for those outdoor plants. Back to you. Yeah, that is good news indeed. We'll take one day. Thank you, Bill. Love took flight on a Polish Airlines plane when a pilot decided to wing his marriage proposal to his flight attendant girlfriend. We'll have details on the sky-high engagement after the break. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scooped to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always serve with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious! Let River City Grill be your new lunch destination. Whether it's corporate lunches, parties, or events, we have the space and food for all of your gathering needs, big or small. We offer an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. with unlimited soup, salad, pizza, wings, and so much more. There's something for everybody. Stop by the bar and pair your delicious lunch with one of our many beers available on draft. River City Grill, Winona, Minnesota. Andy Pitts here at Chrysler Winona. During the Jeep Celebration event, you can lease a new Jeep Compass Limited with heated leather seats, remote start, and Apple CarPlay for $2.99 per month with $29.99 down. Need a pickup? A new Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab, just $4.99 per month with $29.99 down. So stop by and drive one today at Chrysler Winona, downtown Winona. We put a smile on your face. Download the News 8000 app today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Love was in the air for passengers on a Polish Airlines flight. Literally, romance took wing when an emotional pilot proposed to a flight attendant on board. Lot Polish Airlines pilot Konrad Hans met his flight attendant girlfriend Paula a year and a half ago on a flight to Krakow, Poland. So on a similar flight to Krakow, the pilot with eyes brimming let fly the question. Czy zgodziłabyś się zostać moją żoną? It had all the trappings of a rom-com, and yes, the flight attendant will marry the pilot. Lot Polish Airlines posted the video on Facebook, and commenters posted romantic gifts like this one. The plane was on the ground the entire proposal, but these two were walking on clouds with or without the plane. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we come back.
When you're injured in an accident, one mistake could cost you a lot of money. Nobody knows bikers and the law like Hupie and Abraham. They know how to get you all the money that you deserve. It costs nothing for you to contact Hupie and Abraham, and they will never take a fee unless they win your case. They got me way more than I thought I would get. Hupie and Abraham mean business. Call Hupie and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Save up to 30% off your bathroom remodel with your home improvement company. Whether you need a complete bathroom remodel or a simple tub to shower conversion, we can complete your project in as little as a day. Our installers are trained and certified professionals so your project will be done right the first time. Call now to get this amazing offer and enjoy zero money down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2025. Schedule your in-home consultation today to take advantage of these great savings. Your home improvement company where it's your home made better. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. Start your adventure and get in a new Jeep at Pishke Motors Lacrosse or Pishke Motors West Salem. It's the Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today to lease a Jeep Compass Latitude Lux 4x4 for only $349 a month. Let your spirit off the leash with Jeep Compass. The 2024 Jeep Compass makes sure every drive feels like the ride of a lifetime. Experience a compact SUV that goes as far as you do. Stop in now because this offer ends April 30th. Start your search at Pishke.com. And drive away in your new Jeep. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Again, some light showers scattered about right now. More clusters of showers and even some thunderstorms down to the south and west heading our way. So keep that rain gear handy this afternoon. It's not going to rain all the time, but uh, it could. So be prepared for that. Breezy as well, 58 for the high. Most of tomorrow dry, 76, so warmer, and then rain likely again on Sunday. Highs back in the 60s. So if you uh, have the day to choose outdoor plans, uh, better chances to do it tomorrow. Bill, thank you, and thank you for joining us. We will see you back here tonight. Have a great weekend.